Hello everyone, Colin Kanat here for Woodwork Web. Today we're going to do a little bit kind of a different kind of build. And today what I'm going to do is build a dust collection chute or a dust collector hood for my sliding miter. And I promised that I would do this quite a few videos ago and recently when I asked for suggestions some of you brought that back up that you'd like to see something like that. So I'm moving this forward and because all sliding miters are a little bit different what you have to do on yours might be slightly different but let me tell you where I got the idea. If you go to the forums on Woodwork Web and you don't need to be a member of Woodwork Web you can go there and read them uh, you'll notice when you go into dust collection a couple of people have made some kind of innovative things that I really like so I'm going to kind of use some of their ideas on my own saw and this is going to be an experiment <laughs> hopefully it's going to work uh, I have an idea for it and we'll put it together and we'll test it and see how well it works so follow along and uh, let's see what we can do so what I have here, uh, I went to the dollar store and I purchased this plastic uh, tub sort of thing. Even came with a lid, which I'm not going to use. Uh, and I have some hose clamps. I have some old vacuum cleaner hose that I bought from a, I don't know, garage sale or something a few years ago. And I've got a piece of old plumbing pipe that I, uh, extra from something. And what I need to do now, what I'm, the, the, what I hope to achieve is to put this, cut this off so that it'll fit behind the saw and fabricate a lid for it, then put the hose and the adapter on the back so that it shoots the dust into the back of this plastic lid here and uh, gets sucked away that way. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> Let's see how it's going to work. Okay, after a little bit of trial and error, that fits in there. You can see how that fits just perfectly. So now I can use this to trim my plastic tub. I'm just going to mark that off now and figure out how I'm going to cut this plastic. Uh, and it's a little bit, it looks like it might crack, so I'll have to be careful when I cut it. Okay, I tried a few things uh, for cutting. I tried a, a hacksaw and it worked okay. Then I thought about the, my little um, rotary trimmer here and I tried it and it works it actually works pretty well so I'm going to use this and uh, just cut along the line There, that did a pretty good job. I don't think it actually cut it. I think it just kind of melted it away, but that's okay because it didn't shatter any of the plastic and that's, I was a bit concerned about that. So the next thing I need to do now is to figure out the height and cut that off. I'm just going to cut this off with a hacksaw by hand and uh, just hope for the best. And I'm not going to make you sit through it. So I found myself a nice piece of board and I just used the top here to make a ring and I'm going to just cut this out on the bandsaw and then when I'm finished I'll make a cover to go on top of that of this really thin plywood because this is what the blade will cut through and it'll cut easily through that. So over to the bandsaw. Okay, there's the ring I just cut out and off camera I just cut out another piece to go on top of it. So what's going to happen? Now I'm going to glue this on top of the ring.
All right, well, we get to do some attaching here. Hopefully this will firm that up a little bit. Okay. Well, yeah, it might even work. So where the hoses connect to my main dust collector, I just made a wooden plug in there and I've just fastened them in there. So this whole thing is just temporary because I want to see if this is going to work. Well, here we go with this prototype. And I've got eye protection, hearing protection. I'm going to put on my mask as well. Uh, but you know, I, I'm actually surprised how sturdy that is now that it's all fastened down. Um, it, it might actually work. So we're, you're going to get to see this the same time I do. Uh, and hopefully the whole thing's not going to explode, but I'm going to be well protected if it is. So let's uh, tune you in and uh, let's watch and see what happens here. Well, let me show you where there's a little bit of dust. Now, I cleaned this all before I started. There's a little bit of dust out here. You can see that. There's a little bit over here. And I don't know where that came from. Now, let's have a look around the back. It's interesting that there's a little bit here. There's a little bit inside here, which probably would be normal. I see there's a little bit back in here. And even right down in here, there's got some sawdust has got back in there and I can see where it's laying up in there as well. So there's still some getting, even, even with all that, as close as that is, there's still sawdust getting back in here. And this side here, there's quite a bit on this side here, which is the, the opposite of this one here. There's actually quite a bit in there. Well, and that was the uh, first test of this prototype. But you know what's interesting? When I get down to this height, I can see why some of the dust got through where it did. Now I'm gonna make this again. I'm gonna run this for a few days the way it is with this plastic, but I think I'm going to replace this eventually with some metal in here. But if I look closely, I can see that this is a little bit too high. I should have lowered that down. So that's the first thing I would do. The other thing, one of the, screws that I was putting on here, the head came off of it. That needs to get fixed and because of that you can see that there's a gap in there between the plastic and the metal. But the other thing that I didn't even realize, you know what, there's dust getting underneath this and this is the, the slide here so it can't be too firm but you can actually see there's dust under there now and there's actually dust blowing underneath there which is why there's dust in the back there so uh, I need to be able to scoop that up somehow as well. So all in all I think there's something here uh, I just need to do a little bit more refinement on it. Well that concludes my video for making the dust collector for the sliding miter. 
And you know, if you go to the forums on Woodwork Web, you'll be able to see some of the posts that other people have made and, and pictures there of what they've done. And you know, that reminds me, I'd love to hear other people's comments and suggestions um, because there's a world of good ideas out there and I, we'd all love to see and hear what other people are doing in this kind of thing. I didn't want to build a great big hood around it. I wanted to try and keep it as compact as possible. Um, and I've done that and it's working good, but it could work a bit better and uh, maybe you've got some ideas that uh, we can all, all benefit from as well. So I'm Colin Kinnett for Woodwork Web. If you haven't subscribed, we ask you to do that. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and on Instagram and stay tuned because I got lots more videos coming your way.